What's going on guys? I'm Mr. Lazy Boy Tim here with the brand new Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Mix and Match. Uh, damn it. What's going on guys? I'm Mr. Lazy Boy and today I'm here with the brand new Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutations Mix and Match Splinter by Playmates Toys. I'm excited to be checking out this figure in today's video. Um, this is a little bit different than the last uh, Splinter we got by Playmates, which was of course the Mutant Mayhem figure and also the Young Splinter figure. Um, this looks like a semi-decently new head sculpt, I guess. He looks a little bit more smiling, I guess, and it comes with um, a Leo head, Raph arm, um, some new accessories like this stick and this bow and arrow. He came with them in the Mean Man um, toy line. He also came with a, a, a surprisingly painted um, quiver for his arrows. Um, this is a really cool figure. He also comes with a cloth robe this time instead of a, a plastic one. It's interesting. So um, let's track this figure on open and take a closer look. Okay, so here we have Splinter out of the packaging, and um, one thing you guys might notice from this little setup I got going on here is that he is missing one of the accessories he comes with, and that's actually because I gave his, um, um, like, um, what's it called? I, I, I basically gave all his, like, arrow quiver to Mystic Leonardo from Team NT 2012. I just like this look better, and also I wanted some place to have for him to store his bow and arrow because there's no place to store it on this figure. Also, this figure's a little dusty because it's really old. It's 2014, it's... That might be older than some of you guys watching, who knows? Um, but yeah, so that's where that is for the sake of this video. But um, here we have Splinter from the new Tales of Team and Teen line out of the packaging. Um, he looks really, really good. Like, it's about the same as the old one, minus obviously a lot of new stuff. Like this um, now cloth robe. In the original Mutant Mayhem one, it was plastic, but this time it's nice and it's cloth. Much more like the original Splinter from the 1987 Team and toy line, so that's really cool. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a new face sculpt because I think his mouth wasn't open so much on the old one but I could be wrong I will have to do a comparison about that in a little bit um again now this thing is prevalent with all the, the TMNT mix and match figures but like his head like articulation is like really good now because it's on that ball joint like he can look all over the place I love that I'm just not the biggest fan of how the way this is like sewn because you can barely see any of his undershirt so, be careful about that. He does come with this staff. I don't know if we'll get to see it, because we didn't get to see his staff in the Mutant Mayhem figure, so who knows. Maybe in this show we'll get the chance to see that. Um, he does also come with this bow and arrow, which, I mean, if you, like, finagle with it a little bit, you can get in his hand. It's just really, really difficult. Like, I have to force it. And then it's not like the turtles where, like, their fingers are open. If I could just, come on, come on, baby. Yeah, like, see? It's, I don't, you're not going to get much out of that. Maybe with the old splinter, but not with this one. Um, his glasses are removable. They plug into two pegs on the back of his head, unless, never mind, his glasses aren't removable this time around. Okay, that's different. But on the original Mutant Mayhem one, they were removable. Um, you can take off his, I didn't mean for it to come off like that, but you can take off his belt. Um, it's just a little peg that plugs into that. And you can see that it's just a normal white shirt under his robe, which is really funny. Um, I do like the color that they chose for the robe, because it matches the animation a lot in the show. And also, from the newest um, theme song that we saw for the show, Splinter might become the Rat King in this iteration of Turtles, which I'm excited to see. Um, he does kind of have a little bit of a problem staying up, um, but his tail helps with the balance a little bit. But I remember the original Mutant Mayhem figure does not want to stand up. Um, but this is a really nice figure. Let's try out that mix and match gimmick. We got a Leonardo head, which I think this one might be pain painted better than the one I have. I don't know. But it's cool getting extra head sculpts for each of the turtles. Because, oh, jeez, that's tight. Some of these figures, they don't, they're not painted well. And that does not look good. <laughs> He's looking down. I Okay, I guess that's better. But man, are these, some of these mix and match Things do not mesh well. <laughs> you can kind of see, yeah, it's just a plain old t-shirt under this. I'm making a mess with this cloth and, yeah, a lot of these mix and match joints are super stiff. And like, ah, man. Yeah, this is that mix and match function. I don't know how I feel about this. This is honestly kind of ugly. <laughs> no, let's, let's take off the, the, Vest. Let's see how this looks without it. Yeah, okay. I'm glad they went through the um, actual pr uh, process of painting the little um, fur in between his shirt and his neck. That's that's great. I'm glad Playmates went through that effort. 
Um, gray ball joints, I assume that comes from the gray plastic on his feet. Because this is all solid white plastic, so I want to I know, did they actually go through the trouble of these, or is it just from the arms? Because I know, like, there's a, a bit of a process when it comes to making the pegs or the joints for these figures. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can just plug that back in. We'll leave the robe off for the duration of this part. I'm not gonna lie, seeing Splinter in just a t-shirt, that looks pretty good. I wouldn't... <laughs> I wouldn't mind if this is just what he wore for Mutant Mayhem 2. It's just, he chilling. Okay, he just fell over. He, he was chilling, you know? Yeah. And of course, all it's, it's the same across the board with all the articulation, not really much, just the head, arms, and legs on a ball joint. The tail does not come off, that is not removable, that is on there, so good luck with that. I think the tail was removable for the mix and match. 2012 Splinter. I could be wrong about that. But, um, let's get Mutant Mayhem Splinter out for a comparison. Okay, here we have the original Team NT Mutant Mayhem Splinter along, along with the new Tails of the Team NT Splinter, and you can already tell it's a pretty decently not that big difference, you know? Like, you can tell what's different, but it's not the biggest difference in the world. Like, you're not gonna lose sleep over it, depending on which one you want. Um, there are some notable paint differences, though. Like, this is obviously darker cool because it's plastic. This is fabric. Um, the belts are two different shades of purple. Um, the pants are about the same. This one's just a lot more brighter, more bluish. Also, his fur color is more brownish on this one, which is what I would have wanted for this one, because this one's just straight up gray. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I guess this is meant to be like an improved-ish version, but I like that this one has more articulation. Um, the face sculpts are indeed differently different. Like, this is just a closed mouth splinter. This is a nice, happy splinter. I might need to add some more details on this one, because this one looks a little rough. Um, the glasses aren't removable on this one, but they are, however, removable on this one. So, ah, oh, man. Man. So that's something. Just peg those back into the back of his head. I need to add the little tufts of fur, but I don't even know if I want to do that. I like keeping my figures more or less factory seal, or factory, like, the way they, they came. Um... Yeah, that's about all I have to say for this figure. Um, would I pick it up? Um, it's a bit of a toss-up. It's honestly not that big a deal. I like the cloth of this, but I like that it feels more, like, uniform like this. If you, it, it all depends on what your preference is. If you want, like, a more expressive face, go with this one. If you want, like, more articulation, go with this one. It, it all depends, but this one has more stability. Like, this one just stands. If I put... You do that. So, um... I think for my main display, I'm just going to stick with, honestly, maybe this one. I feel like I'm going to go with the new Tails one. I like that facial expression more, and I don't know. Just something about him. I do need to fix, I need, I do need to fix these glasses, however. They're too up. I need to maybe super glue them down. But um, that's about all I have to say for this figure. Um, oh, I just realized. His fingers are painted on the normal release. This one doesn't have any painted fingers. Huh. I didn't realize that. But, um, I hope you guys like this video. I, it was an interesting one, making this one. But, um, I hope you guys like this video. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.